So the story I'm going to tell you all about today is a story of how I standing in front standing in front of you today as a member of Toastmasters. It's more of a self discovery story. I'm going to first tell you about two things that really set things in motions for me around six to seven years ago. And then I'm going to describe three habits that I think make the most impact and then conclude at the end. So one of the first things is falling in love. Now I'm not saying falling in love, you have to fall in love to become the best self you can be in this world. But what it really did for me looking back it was I was able to allocate my time and resources to a lot of these habits that I'll explain later. And it really, I was able to prioritize a lot of different things in my life. Number two, altered states of consciousness. Now, this really disrupted thought patterns and beliefs about myself and the world. And I seemed to become more kind and had a sense of wonder about the world. So shortly after these two things kind of happened, I started getting into my first habit, which is podcasting. Specifically, Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan really resonated with me some of the characteristics he exuded. He is a very self-disciplined, very compassionate, kind person. He expressed a lot of vulnerability on his podcast, which is rare for any humans but especially for men. And he, he, he's just not afraid to be wrong. He's not afraid to listen to other opinions that differ from him. You could say he was fungible. Some other things that he allow or gave me the motivation to do is become a runner. I'm now, I never used to run in my entire life. I worked out, but never used to run. Now I'm an avid runner. I run five times five to six times a week, two miles per day. He inspired me to learn a lot about nutrition. A lot of, I learned a ton about what food I consume and how impactful that is to my daily health and my longevity. And one of the most important things he did for me was introduce me to other mentors in my life, other podcasts, for example, Tim Ferriss, who actually kind of gave me the inspiration to join Toastmasters, uh, Jordan Peterson, Ben Greenfield are a few to name. The second habit that I formed is reading. I believe this is the most important uh, habit that I have formed. One of, some of the first, I'm not going to bore you with a, a ton of books, but some of the first books that I got into was a lot about Stoicism, uh, specifically Ryan Holiday. Obstacle is the way, ego is the enemy. I got into astrophysics, thanks to Joe as well for introducing me to these people, Lawrence Krauss and Neil deGrasse Tyson. I looked, I read into a lot of self-development motivational books, Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you're looking to develop habits in your life, check out this book. David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me, one of the most motivational stories ever. Stephen Pressfield wrote a book called War of Art. The concept in this book, and Joe hands it, used to hand it out to a lot of his guests. I like to hand it out to a lot of people because it was so impactful for me in my life. It was The concept was essentially that voice we all have in our head that's preventing us from being the best self and completing a lot of these things that we truly want to accomplish in our lives, that voice, that procrastination, those excuses, it's called resistance. He calls it resistance. And knowing to separate yourself from that voice and to understand that that really isn't you and you can get better at overcoming it has really helped me a ton in all of these habits in my life. One of the final books I want to mention is Sam Harris, Waking Up, Spirituality Without Religion. This motivated me to join a meditation class shortly after, which is my third habit that I'm gonna go into, and join a Japanese culture center meditation class, and I've developed meditation as a habit now, shortly after, or, uh, as I started reading. And one 
the main thing that it did for me, meditation, is mindfulness. Mindfulness of my thoughts, mindfulness of my emotions, and knowing that I shouldn't identify myself with these, and I do have control. The more I meditate and focus, I can control a lot of these, and it's helped me immensely with my relationships at work, at home, my, with my significant other. And to conclude, this wasn't an easy process. These things weren't very easy. I know it's a lifelong process. It's an ongoing battle, and I just continually want to challenge myself with new things. And that's why I'm standing in front of you today as a new member of Toastmasters. Thank you. <laughs>